below. Welcome, welcome, smart fellas, fart smellers, everybody in between. Making a review on this uh, cargo trailer. Uh, found it on Amazon originally, but uh, you know, I just never came around to buy it because it's fucking 400 bucks. <laughs> Damn near. So, uh, you know, one day cruising through uh, Facebook Marketplace, found it locally and picked it up. I get lucky sometimes, I guess. <sighs> yeah, it was like 100 bucks too, I'm telling you. Uh, fat old tires in the back. You know, I'm not crazy. I put this uh, propane tank on here for like scale. So you guys get like a good idea of like what you can carry in this bitch. Top view. You don't want to see my piggies. So backpack too, you know, for scale. Ain't much to it, you know. Uh, this is a fucking trailer. A bike trailer at that. Uh, you got a three inch uh, or 20 by three inch uh, tires in the back. Uh, they pump up to 40 PSI, which is pretty impressive to me. These only pump up to like 30. Uh, see, I'm already running out of shit to say for this thing. I would say it paid for itself already. I could throw up some pictures of how many times I've used it before. Uh, use it to get water. Mm, take the kids to the park. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a fun one. And, uh, I mean, I, I used the... Uh, to, to get some sand one time out of the desert uh, and uh, it holds all that weight pretty well I'll throw up some pictures of how much shit like heavy shit I've thrown in it before very good very impressive I must say uh, I feel like it's obligatory to go over the these, my, uh, these attachments right here okay my bike doesn't fall shit okay On the prize. Fucking bitch. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's because uh, I got those tie downs in the back <laughs> on the rails, so that's probably why it's not coming out so easy. I probably throw up a photo of how it looks like when it's open, you know. I'll do it in post. This is the attachment for the wheel. I would say it's pretty universal. I mean, look at it. Got a hook right there uh, for safety. And this is your main pin. This is how the ones right here should disconnect, how easy it should disconnect. Boom. That's how easy it should be. But like I said, uh, it's strapped down. I already threw up some photos of how this shit looks like when it's open. Maybe you guys can find a use case for opening the 20% battery. You gotta do this quick. Maybe you guys can find some use purposes for uh, opening the one in the back. I have not found one. I mean, maybe you want this for your e-bike and you want to take it hunting, get some game, haul it in your trailer, no big deal. You know, I saw, I saw like the single wheel one. Uh, for e-bikes that's fat tire like this and I mean you can get it but it's all specialty axle and shit you gotta change out your axles and I mean this is just a cruiser bike dude <laughs> put it simply uh, I wanted this to get a bunch of water not waste gas when I need to go do something real quick and, oh man one time I even transported a grill on here so I'm telling you, this this cargo is capacity is really good, really good. Uh, carried a whole Blackstone 26 inch griddle on it, no problems. The let me show you the camber on the wheels. 
I would have thought that it would have bent in something or, you know, no, they're perfectly, perfectly fine. I would say uh, when you're loading the wheels on, they're quick release, by the way. You're loading these wheels on. You're going to want to do it while it's, uh, what's it called? Not upside down, but like uh, already facing down, like, like how it is already, you know, this to the top. Uh, and with some weight, not some weight on it, but like, uh, how would I say this? When you put it upside down, put the wheels on, uh, they, they're not really aligned and they're going to fall off. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> You're going to want to align those pins. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it right here. Let me see. Hold up, guys. This is all in the spur of the moment. Oh no, everything's black. Oh no. Let me use my pointer real quick. So, in order for your wheel to not fall off, you're gonna wanna make sure these things are in the secure holes. I found out the hard way. I didn't have this one uh, in there all the way, I guess, and fell off. All the all the water fell out. And guys, this is me. Don't be like me. Don't leave it outside and let it to rust. Uh, you guys will probably have a way better experience when you take care of it. Uh, as you can see, I put it through the ringer. Look at that. And you know what? I would say that this plastic right here is holding up really well. It does not crack. I think maybe it warped a little. Maybe you guys can see it from... Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Maybe it warped a little, but who gives a shit, you know? Oh, and by the way, I would not know if you have to assemble this. Oh, my lord. Fuck. Just leave it on the ground, honestly. I don't know if you guys would... That's the next upgrade. I gotta upgrade this kickstand. Because... Yeah, it's not working for me. Anyways. What was I saying? Uh... over here oh yeah plastic yeah it warps a little bit but and I'm in Vegas dude so I put it through the summer already out in the Sun this is how it looks after the summer I don't think the underside is that much more important I could show you guys awesome right I don't know how steady that shit is. As you can see, there's like a bunch of metal brackets or bracings going across. And yeah, that really adds to the structure of rigidity of this thing. Really like it. Here's the weld where it connects to the trailer, to the arm. I mean, look at it. Uh, you can also use the pin right here. I already put away my pointer. You can use the, there's a pin behind here, I think. And yeah, you can uh, take the arm off, easy transport. So it's not as long as it is right now, you know. Take the arm off, easy transport. I actually put it in the back of my uh, Camry. Fit really well, the back seat actually. Fit really well, felt like a glove, I would say. Heavy use, I'm telling you. I gotta paint it already. <laughs> it's rusting. Oh shit. That's not good. But uh, for the meantime, pretty kick ass trailer, guys. I used to use a fucking uh, baby stroller. Or oh, you know what I mean, like the cargo things to get water. You can only hold two, this can hold six. Easily. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, is this something you guys are using every day? I use it on a semi-regular uh, basis to get water. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Let me know what you guys are using for. All this extra capacity. 
you can obviously carry a propane tank. Go get a refill. Don't waste gas while you're getting gas. All right, I'm out. It's windy as shit. I'm, I hope you guys uh, didn't mind that much. This is a review of the Cargo Monster XL whatever trailer. Leave a comment. See ya.